The Apple iPhone 15 is coming with some big changes from last year on top of some very impressive hardware, and this is, without a doubt, the best iPhone yet. Let me know in the comments what you most want to see in the new iPhone 15. So the first story of the day, before we get into the iPhone 15 stuff, we've got news that Apple plan to release a new color for the 14 and the 14 Plus. According to a Weibo post, there's going to be a briefing this week where Apple are going to release a new yellow iPhone, and this seems likely as last year they announced a green color at the start of March, and we haven't seen a yellow color since the iPhone 11 in 2019. Next up, we've got incredible news about the iPhone 15 hardware, and according to DigiTimes, the new A17 Bionic is going to enable significant specification upgrades to the upcoming iPhone 15, and this is due to the new 3 nanometer chipset. Apple are adopting TSMC's 3 nanometer chip technology for both the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and this is going to push them even further ahead of the competition in terms of CPU performance, as Qualcomm are rumored to be sticking with a 4 nanometer chip. Next up, we've got the first live leak thanks to a leaked video, and this shows the front glass of the upcoming iPhone 15. The video was shared on a couple of Chinese websites, and it was then reposted to Twitter by reliable leaker Shrimp Apple Pro, and he also confirms that they are in fact real. The video shows us that the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max are going to feature even thinner bezels than last year, but it appears that the standard iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus are going to be about the same. Now, the bezels are also expected to be slightly curved on the edges, and this is similar to what we had with the iPhone 11 series. The video also confirms the presence of the dynamic island on all four models of the iPhone 15, so it's looking like many of the early rumors were true. Now, next up, we've got some news of some big changes to the iPhone 15's design, and a change that not many were expecting. We had early rumors that the volume and power buttons were being removed in favor of solid state buttons in new Taptic engines, but thanks to the leaked CAD, we now know more. The power button is going to be a capacitive touch button, but then the volume rockers are actually going to be one unified capacitive touch button instead of two separate ones. Now, I imagine this is going to be used with swipes, so you can just increase the volume by swiping up, and then decrease by swiping down. We also believe now that the mute switch is going to be removed from the iPhone 15, and this is also going to be a capacitive touch button, so instead of switching it on or off, you're just going to have to press it to mute. Now, I've created this render here to give you an idea of what we can expect it to look like with the new curved design and the new capacitive touch buttons. Now, many people are also questioning how we're going to do certain tasks, like get the phone into the recovery mode without having these physical buttons, and I can only assume you're now going to have to connect it to a computer, and it's going to need the USB connection to enter recovery. As well as the new design, we're also getting an unexpected upgrade to the LiDAR scanner, and according to Ming-Chi Kuo on Twitter, the suppliers are being changed and the new LiDAR scanners are going to use much less power than the current ones. Now, this means that they're going to save on battery compared to the current ones, but it can also allow Apple to utilize more performance at the same battery level. While all of the changes seem fairly minor on their own, it's quite a big change overall compared to the previous few releases. Now, we've got a new body with new buttons, more curvature on the phone overall, and even a bit of a curve from the bezel. Now, it's going to be the first iPhone to feature a periscope zoom camera, and all models are going to ditch the notch in favor of a new dynamic island. Now, with the new A17 chipset and an upgrade to 8GB of DDR5 RAM, the iPhone 15 Pro models are going to be the most powerful phones on the market by a long way. While it will be incredibly powerful, I still don't think it's going to warrant most people to upgrade from last year's iPhones, but for anyone with an older iPhone, it's going to be a great choice. Now, it's great that we finally know so much about the new iPhone 15 series, and of course, as anything else comes in, I'll be sharing it straight away, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.